I mean, innocent, mean, innocent, I know. I'm fine, I got this good. Romando Romano Andrews, St. Vincent and the Grenadines' latest murder accused, protests his innocence after his arraignment. Andrews appeared before Senior Magistrate Colin John on Thursday, January 4, 2024, charged with murder in connection with the September 7, 2023 killing in Buckhamet Bay. Andrews, who is also known as Russian, is alleged to have murdered Giovanni Batiste, a 29-year-old construction worker of Rose Place. Batiste was gunned down around 7.55 a.m. while walking to work at the construction site of Sanders Beaches Resort. Andrews was remanded in custody to appear before the Serious Offenses Court on Monday, January 8, 2024, for the setting of a date for a preliminary inquiry. Yeah, go on. His arraignment came two days after Paul's Avenue resident Ryan Paul appeared in court in connection with the August 2022 murder of Zara Small of Arnsville. Small, a 43-year-old resident of Paul Yard, died of manual strangulation sometime between August 24 and 25, 2022, a post-mortem concluded. Her body was found on the tarmac of the decommissioned E.T. Joshua Airport around 6 a.m. on August 25, 2022, with a piece of PVC conduit protruding from her vagina. Small's murder was one of two that the nation's chief crime fighter, Acting Assistant Commissioner of Police Trevor Buju Bailey, ordered detectives to revisit last November. The other was the murder of Precious Williams, 17 of Cyan Hill, whose body was found in a bag in Richmond Hill on May 12, 2022. At a press conference in Kingston on Tuesday, Bailey said that solving Williams' murder is still a priority for the police. As I said, the investigation into Precious's death is very much alive. Save as any is, it is alive and ongoing. I, I, I cannot go at this stage into any more details into it. But to say it is well in its advanced stage and it is we on our front burner. I can't say anything else. St. Vincent and the Grenadines recorded a record 42 homicides in 2022. This was superseded by 55 homicides, 42 of which were classified as murder in 2023. Bailey said that emphasizing the murder cases he did last November did not mean that police had placed the other investigations in the cold cases cabinets. I can report to St. Vincent and the Grenadines that the Royal St. Vincent and the Grenadines Police Force is working assiduously, working extremely hard to ensure that persons who are among us who are criminally minded must and will pay for their breaches of the laws of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. So you can go deep within the caves of Torbora, we will find you and we will bring you to justice. Speaking at the same press conference, Acting Commissioner of Police Enville Williams said the police take every murder seriously. We want to give the assurance to the members of the public and for the victim's family that we take every offence and every more offence of murder committed seriously. And although you might not hear sometimes, we are working hard behind the scenes to bring offenders to justice. Further, in, in 2024, in order to equip our officers um, to deal with the offense of murder and the, the sorts of murders that are happening, we, we are partnering with we are partnering with an experienced homicide detective from the UK who is currently in the region to bring um, the necessary training and knowledge base to our investigators to equip them to deal with the complex offenses that we start seeing. Bailey urged the public to be patient and have confidence in the nation's homicide investigators. I echo that call this morning once again, to be patient with us. Believe that your officers have the same capabilities 
that you see on television or you hear of in, in other parts. We have trained and experienced persons who are doing the work and I'm sure that this will not be the last press conference held by the Royal Simmons and Independence Police Force where you will hear more announcement and you will hear more release coming from us that we are making arrests for matters that are outstanding. Again, I say to the victims, the family of victims who, who suffered to the loss of her life or murder, be patient with the police. We are working on your matters. And I say to the criminals, don't sleep easy, because your bed is not comfortable. But with most of the murders committed in St. Vincent and the Grenadines over the last decade or so remaining unsolved, many families are waiting, and many criminals probably sleeping uneasy. Kenton Chance, Eyewitness News, Kingstown, St. Vincent.